Hi, it's Chester Tubwell from Blue Pecan Computer Training. In this video, we're going to look at removing duplicates, duplicate values, and duplicate records. So, first scenario, we've got a list of branches, and we just want a list of all the unique branches in this column. So, the classic way of doing this would be to uh, click anywhere in this list and go to the data tab on your ribbon and then you should find in the data tools area there is a button remove duplicates so if we click on that basically you have to be mindful of the fact that you've got this toggle my data has headers as currently does so that needs to remain ticked then i can just click on ok and it removes the duplicates 15 duplicates found and removed nine unique values remain. Now I'm just going to undo that because I'm going to show you another method. Now, if you're uh, part of the Microsoft Office Insiders program, now this video is dated the 5th of November 2018, Th the next method I'm going to show you is currently only available if you're part of that program. And you can subscribe to the Office Insiders program uh, in the account section of Microsoft Excel you can go in here and subscribe and you will get this or you should get this latest function called unique so if I try this one out the unique function basically what I can do is I can select my range of values and I've got to say next whether I'm going to compare by row or by column now most of the time your values are in a column so you're going to compare by row but it could be the other way around so it's false or zero zero is the numeric equivalent of false comma and then you've got this last uh, option here occurs once so if you go for true what it would do is it would list the values that only appear once so that would be Chichester and Oxford uh, if you want a list of all the unique values, you have to go for false one or more times. So uh, we're going to go for zero again for false and press enter and it creates a list of the unique values. Now, a nice option for this is if you convert your list to a table. And to do that, you click into your list, go to insert table. And then just click on OK to confirm. Now, what you can do now is, well, what the table does is create a dynamic range. So, for example, if I write Manchester down here, it would automatically pick up Manchester in my list. So that's a really useful option. The other thing you can do uh, is to sort the list. And you can do that, again, with a new function that is available through the Microsoft Office Insiders program. If I said sort, open bracket, I'm going to ignore all these options. Just go with the defaults close the bracket there it would sort the list as well a nice extra added option there with these new functions now um, what about if i wanted to uh, return unique records so let's try it the old way first of all so again i'd click into my data i go to data up here i would go to remove duplicates and here Again, I need to be mindful of this. My data has headers toggle, but basically I want to consider these records. So I need to consider both values in both these columns. So I click on OK. 30 duplicate values found removed, 20 unique values remain. So I click on OK. And I've got unique records here. So it's only when I have a unique combination of error and department that they are returned by that particular feature. Now I'm going to undo that because my unique function will also deal with unique records. So my array would contain both columns. Now I'm going to use a little shortcut key here, Control Shift down arrow key, Control Backspace to go back to the active cell, comma zero, comma zero, close the bracket, press enter. And there I have a list of unique records as well. So there we are. Two options for you. If you're not part of the Office Microsoft Office Insiders program, you'll have to uh, use data, uh, remove duplicates. 
the other thing you could possibly use is pivot tables that's not covered in this video uh, but if you have the new uh, the new functions unique and maybe sort that was quite useful here uh, then you might want to go for those options as well okay thank you very much for listening and uh, hopefully that's been useful